me girl i don't always reply well you're not an angel either you can't even fly i know this you think that you know shit how this shade is coming at me i wonder who throws it they can't see the vision boy they must be out of focus that's a real hot album homie i wonder who wrote it oh shit oh take spray the niggas go away yo we sell the clowns around it look like circus soul this is not the album either these are just the stories this is still so cold when it drops it's gonna be a motherfucking slow day hey boy it's good and he knows it he don't say it he shows it just like the rosin if i shoot it what's going on bringing you another vid today i'm gonna go over reselling the trading post and yeah we're gonna get right into this so head over to the trading post you're basically gonna be looking for Mostly items worth over a million now because of the new shop change. I have a list. You really want to go for the R100 and above. And it's going to contain a lot of the hard to sell stuff. But there's some easy to sell stuff too that you can mix in. And yeah, this is going to be what I recommend over here. So starting with R99s. You don't really want to touch R99 and below much at all. And when you do, you're looking for mostly the popular consumables, which are going to be your gourmets. So go and get a CAD list, go and get a gourmet list. And there are certain R99 gourmets that are actually inflating right now, even with the shop change. Stamps, certain popular stamps, you know, your snow bunny stamps, sticky snowflake stamps, stuff like that. They are deflating a little bit, but you can still sell items that are deflating as long as you get them at a good deal and sell them before they drop too much plenty of popular items are deflating think about super attack p that's a popular item everyone likes that it's still deflating so just because something's losing value over time doesn't mean you can't trade it now and make money and that's my last category weapons your r99 weapons are going to be your Theorist tier, your leaded elemental vial, and you know, those are really the best two. There's a couple other ones scattered in there. R100, this category is like super expensive stuff. The chocolates, the R100 chocolates is like one category that super comes to mind. There's maybe, you know, seven to ten or I don't know, like a dozen at least of these really high desired chocolates and also coins like the Emerald Erie coin. You can win these off the wheel of extravagance, but I wouldn't really recommend that. The wheel's kind of a losing endeavor in the long run without getting insanely lucky. <laughs> R101s, the real good stuff is like highly desired, well, Actually, the truth about this category is it's mostly hard to sell. But these things tend to inflate over time if you get good ones. So rare code prizes, which you can win off Neopets merchandise and enter in codes and win these prizes. Some of them are very rare and highly sought after. There's also plot prizes that can get as rare as like one of a kind or, you know, only one left on the site. Those are really nice. And your code stuff like attack peas and all that good stuff. Those make for pretty good reselling. If, if you can get good prices, you know, like you have to be trying to get insanely low prices and then and listing really high, you know, aim high. Always give yourself a ton of room to come down. Uh, and then, yeah, the R102s up to R180s, you got like your, I don't know what all those silver items are, like the silver shoiru and stuff like that. There's, there are random collectible items, the, all the white Asia items, Asia, I don't know how to say it, all of those in there. 
Uh, then you have your R180 retired stuff. Books are kind of hard to sell, but uh, some of them could be okay. Uh, stamps, obviously good. Anything from like the Hidden Tower, those retired is nice. And yeah, that's my last category, all the Hidden Tower items. Anything that's currently in there is good. Because a lot of people won't buy it at full price if it sells very like much less on the regular market. So there aren't necessarily a lot of those items floating around. Ace, a popular reseller, like this is one of his favorite categories, Hidden Tower items. Talking about, um, let's see, this, so News 20, that's what I have going over here. And now that the shop change went up to 1 million, News 20 is a little bit different. You get like a mix of chunk and pretty much high ends. Well, that's okay. Like it's, it's easier to get like right to the high ends. And they still do have some common items. Like this wouldn't be a bad item to try to resell. People open it to try to get the wings. Gambling items, that's like really good as far as easy to sell items because these are mostly hard to sell to be honest But like the good hard to sell so easy to sell stuff is like your paintbrushes Morphing potions used to be easy now that they're mostly on the shop with us I don't know you don't really want to touch them. There's certain categories like baby morphing potions that are a little bit better like rock and drake uh yeah, where's I going? This gambling items for sure. People love to gamble. Just starting from Nurkmans and working your way up. All the like Poos Travaganza. Those are good. Anything where people have this chance to win the desired prizes, like those black Alderis wings. Just not gambling yourself, but selling gambling items. That's that's what's up. So you should make your own search list, kind of, you know, what I started doing here, like, you know, so it was really easy for me to just start coming up with these items first by thinking about the rarities and, you know, then thinking about some easy to sell items versus the hard to sell. I recommend if you're a newbie, go for the easy to sell, right? Get your feet wet, learn a few categories, stick to it, become kind of a master at those. And then once you have more MPs on hand, once you have like 100 mil plus, start dipping into these. Don't put all your assets in at once. You know, maybe buy an item that's valued at 10, 20 million or something when you have over 100 mil capital. Going down, offers you've made. One thing I just really want to touch on quickly is Lynx's glitch. I don't have any offers right now, but if you were to go through your offers, Make sure you can see the icons and the name of what you offered on. Like, if anything looks super weird, just like blank, like, like super odd, the picture's not there, or whatever, just cancel your offer. If it's important, you can remake the offer and, and see if it comes up normal. But if it looks wrong, it might get glitched. Like, you might not get your item, they might not get their item. There's this common glitch that's been happening for years. And that's one way that I know to check that. Like it could happen if you see that. Relisting your trades. Oops. Sorry, these things all go together. So relisting your trades, this is something that like, if you want to get sales, this, this is how you do it. People like to look at the newest 20, right? Get on the newest 20. They also, when they search for something, you want to see the top one. So this guy just listed his stamp. When I go to the newest 20, when I search for this as newest, like people want to offer on the top one. Also, it's really good if you have items that are people could offer on directly that you take two mil or less. It's nice to list it single like this. If you have really expensive items, you can group them nicely like this, if that makes sense. But the more accessible you can make it and easy for someone to just click like this on the two mil and less items, definitely go for that.
As far as putting a wish list, different things that you can do, um, you can put that your online now, online daily, make an offer, open the offers, pure, uh, uh, you know, various things. Just try everything. And if something doesn't work, switch it out. You can put a price. You can not put a price. You can say that you'll beat anyone. You can say lowest. Emotes. That's uh, one thing people don't know that you can use all these emotes. Unicode emotes work on Neo. The categories that work are miscellaneous symbols and dingbat. Once again, these are Unicode emotes, and I'm just looking at miscellaneous symbols right now. So I don't even think I have anything in my inventory, but let me see if I do. I'll show you how to use these emotes to like really get attention to your trades. And this is a joke, I'm putting for your best offer, just to segue in my next category. Most of these are a joke. I don't really get what they're doing. I don't understand the trend to put free or best offer to like get offers to then just reject you. It's so weird and bizarre, but people do this. Don't, don't even bother offering on these. If you're trying to differentiate what's free and what's not, if you see this like or best offer and stuff like that, just go, eh. If you want to try to offer on some free trades, I find like one out of 10 are probably legit. If you want to waste your time, I don't even bother. Alternative for bank. If you have a ton of NPs on hand, what some people don't realize is you can make more than the interest you would get off the bank just by putting in a bunch of offers on the trading post. So before you go to bed or something like that, take your trade list that you came up with just search through all of them and bomb in a bunch of low offers. Don't be afraid to like go extra low or insult people or whatever. And I never get blocked and never get hate mail. And I make like really low offers and I get a lot of rejections, but I'll wake up after making 20 offers and you see two or three acceptances and you're like, Ooh, what did I get? Like, it's so exciting to check your inventory and see what you get. So. I call it like bombing offers, whatever, just hit up the trade post and pick an item you know, and don't be afraid to like offer on all of them and go low, find the numbers, play with the numbers. Let's see if we hit everything here, search list, newest 20, I think we have. So I'm going to scroll down to site events and these are where you can really shine as a reseller during uh, things like Charity Corner, Alt Altador Cup, Daily Dare the trick or treat bags. And some of these are for investing versus reselling right now. For the Altador Cup, for instance, uh, say when the stamp comes out in the prize shop, the high end stamp, you can be on here reselling the stamp right away, which you want to do. Make sure you get one of the stamps, make sure you get two of the stamps, list it, find out what the other resellers are offering on your stamp. That's what you need to do figure out their offers, and then, hey, you wanna buy them? You offer slightly over what they're doing. You already know their price, you know what I'm saying? And people will be listing these stamps at like 800K on the trading post, and they're really selling at 1 million. So knowledge is power, just finding out what other resellers are offering, finding out like how much people are overpaying for them and stuff. Where trick or treat bags might be more of a long-term investment. You want to buy these, maybe and hold on to them. And examples of some prizes from trick or treat bags in the past, Mika stamp, Mumbo Pango stamp. Look these prices up. They're like skyrocketing now. Chadley stamp. That's another prize from a recent event. Look the price up. It's like listed at like 12 mil now. Used to be able to get this at like 4 mil. So some of the top prizes that you want to look for are normally like stamps, some select wearables, Pet pets, any like BD weapons that are gonna be super rare, and paintbrushes, but watch out for paintbrushes a little bit because normally that will deflate the value. But at the end of the day, paintbrushes are always gonna be desired and easy to sell. So sorry I had to speed through the end of this, but I wanted to make sure I hit all the categories. You know, I really recommend you make a search list, start off with easy to sell, work your way up, and Hey, sky's the limit. You can make a lot of money in the trading post and find a lot of good stuff. This is Fish, did number five. 
getting your rich.